So we're gonna play some Gwent. Stimulates the simulates the battles of a clash of two armies. Let's do this. I go first. So you begin by drawing ten cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. We will not draw any more cards. Use these wisely. Okay. This is a unit card. The number of the card in the upper the left hand corner is its strength, so his strength is one. When placed on the battlefield is added to the total strength of the player who placed it. Okay. So we got combat rows, close combat, range combat, siege combat. This kind of reminds me of Castle Panic. Some cards have special abilities. He, his ability is it grants one strength to all units that are on the catapult range, like a siege weapon range. Weather cards reduce the strength of cards. Okay. You can select up to two cards to discard and, and redraw. I'm sorry, I'm eating lunch right now, so I may have some burps. So opponent's side is on the bottom, his side is on the top, we take turns. Each deck has a leader. A leader grants you a special ability where you can only use once during the battle. So I guess all, all three rounds, or however many rounds it takes. Enter to select a card from your hand. So I'm not gonna lie, I've played this before, so I kinda know how to win. I'm gonna select some guys on the archer range. So on the le left it shows our total strength. So far, minus six. At the end of the round, whoever has the highest wins, you can hold the space bar to pass. Once you pass, you can't play any more cards during the round. Your opponent can continue playing until they pass. When you're confident you can win, you can pass. Um, I need to... I need to turn the sound off my phone, I apologize for that. And if you're wondering, yes, that was from a video game. So they pay, played a 4, I played a... Okay. So I learned early on in playing this game is that the worst thing you can do is play all your cards at one time to stay ahead of them. So I want to kind of get ahead enough to where they are going to have to use an exponential amount of cards just to catch up if they want to win this round. I'm saving lots of good cards from behind, so I think I'm going to pass. So now it's their turn, so most likely what they're going to do is they're going to play enough cards to win this round. So see now they only have three cards in their hand. I have six. I lost the first round. If you lose two, if you lose both your life gems, then you lose the game. So this time I have much more of an advantage. Looks like they passed because most likely they don't have any more cards. I only have to place one card down. In fact, now I'm gonna place a weak card down. Not a six, I'll place a one. No, yep, nope. There we go, him. She could pick a rain from your deck and play it instantly. Interesting. Okay, so I won that round, so now we're tied. He still only has three cards. I don't know what his cards are. Ooh. I get to draw another card. Because like, apparently that's my leader skill. So I'm just going to place down the lowest see what they have for us. I mean, I don't think they can really do anything. That actually clears up all of the weathering conditions, so I'm unsure why they played that. I guess he just doesn't have any cards left. So that's going to bring my guys down to one, but the thing is, one still beats zero. So I still have, even though it brings her down to one, I've clearly won the match. Let's pass. I've won! Victory! There's no shame in passing around and letting Puno win around sometimes. See? So sometimes it's better to save your cards for later. Acquire more powerful cards by completing certain quests and purchasing them from vendors. Interesting. So he won the first round, but I won the last two. 
GG, guys. GG. Well, well, you've a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Hmm. I'm going to examine it. Open the game menu and go to the Gwent deck panel. No, that's not how. How did I do it? I think it's backspace. Yeah. Ooh, so these are all now available. Interesting. Notori, Akami. Let's first go to quest. Ooh, so it's already showing all the things that we've done. So we got to ask the Nilf Guardians about Yennefer. Yennefer had contacted Gerot finally. They had not seen each other in years. She sent him a letter smelling of lilac and gooseberries, of course, asking him to meet her in the village of Willoughby. But Willoughby's destroyed, so now we're on our way to the Vizima, but I guess we're stopping here at White Orchard. So I think the best option would be to... First, let's look. Looks like collect them all. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Um, I think I need to switch it to the main storyline. I'm not sure if I want to spend my time right now collecting cards. Ooh, this is showing the tutorial. That's awesome. It's kind of space to track it. Excellent, so now that'll be the main one. Let's go back and talk to our elder friend to see if he has some words. Yes, what is it, Wolf? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes, though that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. Mm -hmm. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. A century? Wow. See you later, Vesemir. So I think now, since we're, I guess we're going to leave the bar for a while, we're going to start to hunt down Yennefer. I need to stock up on some food. Nope. Nope, I do not need to light her on fire. Something else you'll be needing. Elf Guardian rule to your liking? What's there to like? It is the same as any other. They tax us, requisition this or that, but they do keep the peace in the village, I'll grant them that. You don't mourn Tamaria's passing? I mourned it round half a year back, when King Foltes was cut down. Now, now I just I hear that. Peace. Amen. Got anything interesting under the counter? Depends what you're after. Have a look. Hmm. So these are all of my stuff that I've taken off of people. I think I need to... I'm going to get something cheap. Let's take all of our plums. Well, buy them, not take them. That way we still have lots of gold in case we need it for anything else. And we do have some foods for... Farewell. Things. Here, you're currently equipped at items. Items you currently in your possession. Tabs to show stats. Ooh, DPS, armor, high intensity, and vitality. Potions can be used in here. Okay, excellent. Consumables. So we got lots of fun stuff. So we got bread and water, both for vitality. Let's also equip some plums. Tani oil accelerates stamina regeneration. Has a toxicity level. Interesting. Should I go ahead and I'm not sure. I'm not going to equip the chicken yet. So, his steel sword. Silver sword. Caremorn armor. Hunting gauntlets. Hunting boots. Hunting trousers. No ranged weapon, but we got some bolts. Excellent. Equipment. So, I guess we are good to go, to be honest. I'm sorry. Ow! Oh, I hope she doesn't hate me now. Alright, let's head outside the bar, I guess. Uh-oh. These guys. 
these guys. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. The cat's even angry at us too. What's happening? Let's use our sign again. Haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course no. I, uh, you done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft. Get him! Alright, looks like it's a fist fight, if you know that. They wouldn't let me use the signs, so looks like I just gotta... The horses are like, I'm getting out of here. Have a nice fall. He still is out of it, like nobody's business. So, I got a lot of stuff that I can possibly do, so I think I'm just gonna stop here. Game saves are automatic, but you can still save your own progress, yeah. So, I'm mainly just gonna be focusing on saving my own progress because I wanna make sure that I don't screw anything up. Have a good one, bye! <laughs>